Hey guys, this is Dave here, and I wanted to talk today a little bit about the Gatton CNC kits that I sell. Uh, every once in a while, I'll get either an email, Facebook message, sometimes a text message uh, from somebody wanting to know what exactly comes in the Gatton CNC kit. And usually I try to explain it in an email or maybe send them a link to the website if they haven't already seen that. Um, but I thought I would take a minute today to try to shoot a short video and just kind of go over real quickly what you get when you buy a Gatton CNC uh, kit. So basically you get 21 parts uh, that I cut right here on my Gatton CNC. These are the two uprights. You can see this one is set up for... Uh, NEMA 23 or NEMA 24 stepper motors. Uh, you get three Acme nut blocks, uh, two for each side of the Y that will go here on your upright and another one that will go on your plate uh, here. A, you have a rear plate and a, a front plate. Uh, and then for the uh, y-axis or I'm sorry the x-axis you'll have a where is it here it is an acme net plate like this because you've got a little assembly a uh, little carriage assembly there that becomes the x-axis and then holds the z-axis uh, you get the parts that you need there's the uh, bottom which has got a counter bore for bearing the top again set up to use with a NEMA 23 24 uh, this is your uh, your main plate where your router mount would go. Uh, the holes are already in there. We can just knock in some uh, quarter 20 T nuts and you're ready to bolt that up. Your two sides. Uh, also comes with a router mount, which I just made these basically a three and a half inch diameter. Uh, you can use pretty much whatever you can see. I've got a spindle on mine, but with a three and a half inch diameter body router, that's a pretty popular uh, style router. Quarter cable makes several different ones that are three and a half. I think Bosch has one, and uh, there's just a bunch of them. It's a really popular size, so that's why I went with the three and a half. Uh, so, in addition to those 21 parts, you also, when you order a kit, you get your choice of getting the plans in either inches in a decimal format or inches in a fraction format or even metric uh, and it will be in millimeters. So whatever standard of measure you're used to working with or are comfortable with, you can get your, um, your plans that way. Um, just to go real quick, what doesn't come with the kit um, I guess I can show you with this. All those parts I've shown, you know, of course, you build your own table, but I do have drawings in here to show you how to uh, build a simple bench top table for, for this. And the other, the other parts are the cross members that go across. And the reason I don't supply those is, one, they'd be a booger to ship because they're big. But the other thing is, you can adapt these plans to make it wider or narrower than the plans just by either adding or subtracting. Uh, and that's one of the, the features that has really made this kit popular. Uh, so those, those parts are all just simple rectangle cuts. You could cut them with a table saw. Uh, you could use a circular saw with a guide. Uh, you know, they're not difficult to make. So those are the parts that don't come. There's actually a front, you know, a front and a back, and then there's also an inside piece, but it's also rectangle. And then you got a top and a bottom. But again, it's all simple rectangle cuts, not hard to make. Um, and, it, and again, it allows you to be able to make the, uh, your build either larger than the plans or smaller than the plans. These plans are very detailed and they call out every bolt, nut, washer, bearing, the aluminum angle, everything you can think of or everything that I've used to build this uh, is called out in here. 
Uh, and if you're looking at this, this all comes in a PDF format, so if you're looking at it on your computer, the links I have in here are actually live links, so you can click on them. For example, if you want to know where to get these lead screws, uh, there's a link there, and you can click on it, and it'll take you right to McMaster Car to the exact lead screw that I'm using here. So that's a big advantage, um, you know, because I, I've done basically all this work for you where you don't have to, to stop and think or do the searching. Uh, you know, everything is called out right here. Now, if you don't like where I have the parts linked to, you can always look around and try to find it cheaper. But I can tell you, I've already done that too. And, um, you know, I'm not going to send you to some place that's, uh, that's really expensive. Uh, if you find it cheaper somewhere else, great. But uh, you can definitely get exactly what you need if you follow these links and, and stick to these plans. Another great thing about buying a Gatton CNC kit and you might not think of it uh, until until after you get one, uh, but the Facebook group that we have. I have a, a Gatton CNC Facebook group, and we're, I think, around 900 members strong on that group, and it's people that have already bought the kits or are building a kit, or maybe some folks are just there to, to try to learn uh, a little bit about them before they buy one. But uh, everybody in there, I like to say I have the best support uh, tech support team there is because there's so many people like I said several hundred uh, out there now and if you post a question well how do I do this or how do I do that before usually before I even see it and get a chance to answer five or six other people in that Facebook group have already answered the question or showed them what they did sent pictures or helped them in any way so great bunch of folks um, that I just, I couldn't be prouder of having the, the little community that we do for the Gatton CNC uh, because uh, it's, it's just a bunch of great people. Uh, but I guess that's going to do it for this video. Again, 21 parts, detailed plans available either in uh, decimal format, fractional format, or if you're a metric guy, I can send them in millimeters and a great community on the Facebook group. So if anybody has any questions, I'm going to have some links down below in the description uh, to the Facebook group, uh, also to the website, and you know, where you can go and watch the build videos. Uh, I guess I didn't even mention those, but uh, also along with the set of plans, you can use the plans, and I think I did uh, 11 build videos. Uh, where I built one that looks basically just like this that is now at my buddy Jim's house uh, about a mile from here. Uh, but I did the, did the build. Uh, even with that one, I varied from these plans a little bit. I made it a little wider than, than what the plans call for. Um, but yeah, the build videos and the plans, if you use both of those, it makes this really easy. Uh, the whole purpose of this, just like back when I did the how to build a CNC router on a shoestring budget, uh, you know, five years ago now. The main goal was to try to make it where anybody that wanted a CNC could have a CNC. So that's, that's kind of what this is all about. And I think I've been pretty successful in doing that because there's a whole bunch of folks now that have a CNC in their garage or their shed or wherever that wouldn't have had one if they couldn't have done it like this because again another big advantage is you can buy the kit you look through the plans you build your table or cabinet or whatever you're going to set it on then you can order all this stuff as you need it you don't have to lay out all that money up front so it makes it really nice where you can spend a little at a time and over a few weeks or maybe a few months uh, put this thing together and have a really nice uh, CNC that will compete with with any of them out there. Okay, I've rambled on enough. Uh, this is going to do it for this video. If you've got any questions, be sure and uh, check me out on Facebook or shoot me an email. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions uh, that you might have. And as always, thank you very much for watching.